guys today i'm here to make a video regarding jvn state exam q and a session i have already made a video of the scholarship interview experience of mine which just goes on ke views on youtube you can check the video in my description box i'll put the link there and today they have been asking about so many question regarding the exam session how i prepared and what books they should follow so here i am giving you answers to all your questions so that you can sit for the exam at ease of your mind so stay tuned with me the junior talent search exam it was the year of covid so that my exam was held on online mode and the questions are basically the mcq type so i do not quite recall that process and every time the exam pattern questions pattern but senior talent search i attempted offline and physical mode and i qualified also went for the interview and i got uh, i selected for the scholarship so here i'm going to give every details of that exam from my point of view For junior talent search I will highly recommend you the West Bengal board books because as for long as from my experience I know that the question pattern was and the question level was exactly as your 10th board exam level so i i will suggest you to follow wb boards books and uh, if you prepare accordingly i am sure that you can clear the scholarship test and for the senior talent search i will recommend you to go for ncert if you have a good command command over it and if you are opting for neat or je aspirant then it will be really easy for you to uh, go for ncert and give the exam but if you are following west bengal board books and you have given the 12th board exam this year so the questions will be exactly the west bengal board type and the level will be that much not that j or neat level so you can also follow west bengal board books if you are opting for bsc courses in any science subjects then i will highly recommend you to uh, opt for west bengal boards and if you are uh, have a good command over ncert and you have read, read through ncert quite a couple of times so i will suggest you to go for ncert go through the ncert and you will easily clear the exam First, you have to download the admit card of your exam, which will be available through uh, the website of JBN State's home base. And then you have to go through the admit card very clearly to how to documents to carry and what rules are there to follow. It will be written the exam uh, admit card of yours. You must carry, I would say, must carry a calculator with you for because for my case in senior talent search exam, uh, I was allowed to use my calculator. and also also even though if it was written in admit card or not you have to carry your aadhar card your water bottle and your pen and yeah your pen and paper they will provide to you and for question pattern i would say that uh, 
in the JVNSTS homepage, I'll show you. Uh, first, I have to go through the JVNSTS webpage, and then uh, I have to here. I can see that there is a um, paper for sample papers for junior talenters and for Hoche senior talenters, and I have to just click on it, and then I will be directed and downloaded. Just solve this sample paper on your own. Do not get any help and while you are solving this, you go through the concepts really well and exactly your questions paper will be same pattern as this is. Questions may be different, but it will be run around over the concepts of these questions basically. That was, that happened in my case. On the day of releasing your result, they will basically publish a merit list of a list of students. If your name is that is in your that list of your merit list, then you are sure that you are selected for the scholarship. And if there isn't, that simply means that you do not you are not selected for that scholarship. But let me tell you one thing that they don't specifically give you the result that some people some people have been asking that what about the cutoffs how many marks have i have i need to be scored no there is no cutoff like that because they don't give you the exact mark that you have scored in that exam they just give the rank based on the papers how what, how many students have you uh, attended this year and how well you scored this year that will basically directly affect your rank and that rank wise you will be given the scholarship <music> I would say if you are a NEET or JE aspirant, uh, the question pattern will be quite easy for you because it is West Bengal board level. But if you are opting for BSc students and uh, if you are a West Bengal board student, I will probably say the question is medium level, but it is not impossible to crack this and the question was quite easy for you. How I prepared? Hmm. Actually, neat exam was just over, and I was on my resting phase, so I did not prepare that much, basically. But uh, I had just downloaded the sample paper that I just showed you. That sample paper, I solved it on my own and tried to learn as many concepts related to it possible. That's how I prepared, and basically, I solved the ten sample paper so two or uh, two or three days before the exam. So that was very effective for me. That worked really well for me. So I could write the exams really well. Well, registration portal is exactly same because they will just pick up extra 20 girls from the students attempted this year. To give this a special scholarship for offered to them because and so girls there is a high chance of you probably getting selected well I did not get a, get selected for the 20 girls um, uh, I have selected for normal program so they will basically pick up the they, those who are not generally selected from the lower candidate they will just pick 20 more girls to for this benefit so you do not have to differently uh, register for that scholarship you just have to register for same as everybody is going to going to register and you just have to get the exam and for regarding the syllabus i will upload a pdf here i can i am showing you the pdf here and in that video they have uh, told everything what is the syllabus pattern and definition and how when the exam was going to happen so last of all i want to tell all of you that attempt this year or who had attempted this exam this year all the best and i know you you will do well do not need to worry about anything bye bye <laughs>